I've been having a lot of fun putting around this thing the last few days, but I did run into one small issue. Every now and then after engaging and disengaging the clutch to come to a stop, I realized I was losing all my belt tension. So I got under there and looked and I realized it was falling off of the idler pulley we had made. So I got a solution for that. The problem I'm having is when the clutch is depressed, this belt comes too far off of the idler pulley. And when the clutch re-engages, this belt will sometimes slip underneath the pulley and it gives me a lot less tension than I need. So what I'm going to do is cut a bolt down and weld it on the top of this bar and it will essentially hold the belt in place like my finger is now when the clutch is depressed so that it won't slide off of that pulley. We're also going to add another pillow block bearing to the top side. There should be just enough room to fit in there and that will eliminate any of the twisting and turning of the shaft while it's running. And finally we're going to trim this shaft down so it's not just hanging down off the bottom. Now I'm just going to tighten down these bolts, I'll cut off the excess, and then we'll trim down our shaft. Sleek and modern, looking good. So now we can get our half inch bolt shank and weld it up right there. That's it. Let's get the mower back up here and get it all put back together. Well, look at that. Last thing I did was put a bolt through the frame right here. The bolt head is on the inside with one nut also on the inside and then one nut going on from the outside. And the head of the bolt is basically going to keep this side of the belt on the pulley while our welded half inch bolt will keep the belt on that side of the pulley. So no more coming off. Well, it's about time for a test drive. Let's go see what happens.
that's not too bad. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.